Man, this is getting ridiculous because how many is it now? About how many is it now? About 30 charges? I haven't been counting. I just know that about every 10 days or so, I see Trump is getting some new charges put on him. And I don't really care. I don't really care. That's why I haven't talked about it until now. I don't care. Uh, kind of for the same reasons that I said that although I think Clarence Thomas and the other judges accept the legal gifts slash bribes, I want them to be left alone. Leave them alone. Clarence Thomas and the other judges, leave them alone. Right? And not because I like them, but because I see a scary connection in what's going on here and in other places on the earth where they're essentially stripping Supreme Courts of their powers. You don't show the aspirin over there. His aspirin. <laughs> but listen, with Trump, with me, as far as I'm concerned, if it's not the well-deserved indictment because of his role in warp speed, leave him alone. Not even the rape charges. Fuck that bitch. She probably lying anyway. Leave him alone on that too. Because the only charge I'd like for Trump is war crimes. Crimes against humanity. Him, Fauci, Kushner, and the others with this bug that they let out on everybody and the cure that they imposed on people. And that's it. The rest of this stuff, all these indictments and stuff, it's trash. It's trash to me. It's theater to me. And that's it for me. Lock him up for refunding the gain of functions program. For reopening that program that let the bug out. Lock him up. Lock Kushner up. Both of them, especially for all of those investments that they made in drug companies right before the bug was let out. And besides, who here listening believes that Trump is going to be doing hard time if he's convicted of this stuff anyway? Nobody. If convicted, we can maybe see images in our heads of uh, probation, fines, community service, house arrest, ankle monitors and stuff like that. But prison? No. None of us can vision that. No. No. Does he belong in prison for some of that stuff? Absolutely, but leave him alone. Because if it's not gain of functions, then it is of no concern to me. None of it. Right? And here's why they won't hit him up for the gain of function charges. Here's why they won't do it. This is the Jeffrey Epstein crime scene here. Look at how pristine this looks. It looks immaculate like uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln's cabin at the museum. This is how they preserve scenes at the Smithsonian or somewhere. And this isn't a suicide scene. This is a scene that looks like a struggle took place here. And one person in jail. Just one or two. An entire island full of crimes against children and only one or two people are in jail because of it. Why? Well, because all of them would end up in jail if they start charging who really needs to be charged. Probably about 200 people in Congress would end up in jail. Same reason why they won't charge Trump with the gain of function because damn near everybody in Congress would be under arrest. So that's how I'm looking at all this stuff. Same reason I haven't spoke on the Hunter Biden stuff either. Him or his daddy not going to jail for the stuff that they really should be in jail for. It was reported at that time uh, that you had a number of meetings with Jeffrey Epstein, who, when you met him 10 years ago, he was convicted of soliciting prostitution from minors. What did you know about him when you were meeting with him, as you've said yourself? Uh, you know, I had dinners with him. Uh, I regret doing that. Is there a lesson for you, for anyone else looking looking at this? Well, he's dead. So, uh, you know, in general, you always have to be careful. Uh, and, you know, the 